Hello everybody, Benethro here, and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week, we see something really cool, I think, honestly, and this is probably, so far, one of the best Yak tracks I have seen to date. <laughs> and I like, I, I enjoy the Yak tracks, I don't think they're too bad. I've been able to complete them pretty quickly, um, especially now that they have a lot better balance than what it initially was. Uh, but anyway, we have the Yakdrak Expedition into the Wilderness. So this is the part that is really, really cool. Uh, is the type of rewards that are all available for it. Now there's also an infinite reward task, which we will get to that at the very end. But let's go over some of the rewards they're highlighting here at the top. Uh, you have a different uh, type of Wilderness Cape, which looks really cool. I've... This is something I was not expecting from RuneScape, to be perfectly honest, but that looks really cool. There's a Dark Beast pet, a Spider pet, and, well, two Spider pets, but a uh, Poison Spider and I, I want to say Blood Spider. Uh, but biggest thing is you get a Dark Beast pet. Uh, but uh, there's tons of prizes. There's the XP boost as per usual, but instead of the usual, this time you get a Yak Sack. And it looks like the Yak Sack is about every five levels. And once you get those, uh, you can actually open them up and they give you a RNG based reward. So you might get something really, really cool. You might get Proteans. Or if you're an Iron Man, you might get the Cape, or you might get. Uh, uh, oddments. If you're an Iron Man, I will say this, um, basically this entire list becomes oddments, uh, except for, you know, a few things like the cosmetic overrides and stuff like that. Because, <clears throat> as of course, you know, Iron Man accounts, we're not supposed to be able to, uh, get stuff that's going to boost our account. It's supposed to be done like us, you know? But the repeatable one is once you hit 50 and you're done, uh, every time you complete that task, the repeatable one, you get one medium generic star, so one prismatic star, and then you get one yak sack. So once you get up to the top, you can keep getting yak sacks left and right. But keep in mind, people, this yak track is going to be going until October 23rd, so the Keep in mind, Fresh Worlds starts uh, September 26th, currently. So, keep that in mind. And speaking of Fresh Worlds, uh, we have the rebalancing of multi uh, XP multipliers and boons, limited uh, bonds per the competitive period. Um, this The changes were announced last week, but essentially all it is is that the... Uh, XP multipliers, they didn't really specify how much of a change that you're going to be making because I think they're still looking into that. Uh, the boons, what they did is they got the ones that are a bit OP. Um, for example, the ones that allow you to skip levels uh, after every so many um, uh, perks that were earned loyalty points or whatever. And the bonds, they limited to how many people can buy and sell during this time frame. Um, so you can't be, you know, trying to abuse the market and get bonds for excessively cheap, uh, especially while the competition period is going on. Personally, I don't see the issue with the bonds. I don't think there's going to be that big of an issue, uh, even without the restriction. But I could be wrong, and like I, I don't know if it'll be a huge issue or not. Uh, there is also going to be a way for existing players to exchange bonds for membership on another account in order to access uh, Free Start Worlds. So, if you're an existing player, uh, there will be ways that you can use your earned bonds, or if you want to buy some bonds, you can use them to, uh, you know, help your account get started. Uh, commitment to make uh, FSW rewards available through other means in the future. So they do have a fact um, in there, and it does say about how they have absolute intent. If you do not play this event, that is fine. Uh, these rewards will be available again 
down the road outside of the competition period. How this will be done, I don't know, but they do have plans on re-releasing these things in different ways. I will say though, given how rewards usually work, they will not be as easy to acquire. Now like the skilling pet ones, what I would like to see is that occasionally, just like the skilling pet, you can get these uh, variant skin override by skilling. So you have just as much odds of getting it like you did getting your pet initially. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be very, very fun. There we go into the community. We have the community showcase. Uh, there is a short skin, uh, cinematic uh, movie featuring Profundus. So do check it out. Um, I think it is by... Uh, yeah, okay, so this is by Darsh underscore Metal 2 so do check that out. Uh, it doesn't really say about a YouTube channel, but this is on the official website. Um, and it does look like it is on Reddit. Uh, I think that's where this got pulled. Hopefully they have it on YouTube eventually too, because that's pretty cool. And then we have a movie poster here for Rune RuneScape, obviously. And this is by Yom ACPL, and this is Bandos and God is Born. Uh, so, pretty interesting. I would love to know, this captures my attention, I would love to know more about Bandos personally. And then we have one here uh, by Chaos Art RS, uh, featuring Karapik, blasting his way through time, if you will. And then we have one here from Ankaro. Uh, looks like they are having some uh, time talking to Raksha. And they're looking for Greco, apparently. And then we have a skipper screenshot. As it looks like Sarah uh, is being a little chatty with what looks to like be a steel dragon, I believe. Watch me be completely wrong. <laughs> Uh, and then a vial of Fivey. I probably butchered that name badly. Uh, but they're having uh, a little bit of fun in the sun. And then we have Cosentus underscore clan checking up on their uh, little dino pet baby. Then we have the pink skirts event, which are. Oh, let's see here. Corporal B is hosted by Patrick K. and Clackworthy Monday, 29th of 20, 1900 game time. World 123, Corporal Beast, Lair, FC's Patrick K, Nyx, Angel of Death, Pimpy Spot, and Boss Guild. Friday, uh, September 2nd, 2000 game time, World 88, God Wars Dungeon, Ancient Prison, and the FC is Boss Guild. And then we have one more with Vindicta, uh, hosted by Pimpy Spot and the Boss Guild. Uh, September's, yeah, Saturday, September 3rd, 2000 game time, World 88. Heart of Gilinor, Vindicta Lobby, and Boss Guild is the FC. Now we got to go back up here and go to the patch notes. And the patch notes are as follows. Wearing a mask, a wilderness rule set. Wearing the mask of gloom now correctly forces the dark beast slayer task. The ice block shortcut to at Gorik uh, can now be used while in combat. With the beach 2022, they reverted the Lumbridge Crater after the beach event ended. But a broke bank chest icon remained on the world map. This has now been removed. Other fixes are that they fixed uh, players turning invisible when standing where Adrestea used to stand before Zimrock's quest. Fixed an issue where the augmented dragon pickaxe turns into the auriculum pickaxe upon dying in PvP wilderness. Wow. Uh, fixed an issue where you could not use the snipe ability while moving if you were wearing the enhanced nightmare gauntlets in PvP. And don't forget about the requirement changes that are going to be taking place. I do wish we could find out more. But it says, in the coming months, RuneScape will no longer support Windows 32 built systems or graphic cards that do not support OpenGL 3.0 or higher. So do keep that in mind and get that uh, upgraded if you can. If not, I don't know what to really tell you. Uh, I hope everybody can. That's the main thing. But that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying the new track, React Track. I know I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
And until next time, later guys.